We like to keep things pretty light here on Bi-Weekly, but our next guest is here to talk about something very serious. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome director of the CDC, Dr. Orwell Finch. Thank you, JT. Now listen, I have some extremely important information for not only your viewers, but for the people of this nation. It is imperative that you all give me your undivided attention immediately. Of course, doctor, but by all means, the floor is yours. It is with heavy heart that I must announce the resurgence of one of the world's most deadly diseases. A once forgotten virus has begun to strike again. Oh my God, this is awful. This is the last thing I needed with graduation. Are, are we all gonna have to quarantine again? It's possible. I mean, this disease seems to only occur in areas of high population density. Well, it really depends on how big the venue is. <laughs> I mean, the stadium is pretty big. It's literally a football field. Are we gonna have to wear masks? I'm afraid not even a mask can protect you from this. The symptoms are the same regardless. The virus targets any venue that has a microphone. <laughs> microphone? Uh what kind of advanced strain of COVID is this? That's the thing, it's not COVID. It's, it's much older, it's almost ancient. Uh, what, like the bubonic plague, measles, or the common cold? I, I swear, they were all extinct. Oh, how I wish it were just the bubonic plague, JT. <laughs> just? Uh, doctor, you're starting to scare me. Why aren't you announcing this on like national television or something? I think there's maybe like 30 people here and I don't know if anyone watches the live stream besides my parents. You know, young people are at the most risk, so I thought it would be best to do like a little college tour to spread the word. College tour? What are you, Jack Harlow now? <laughs> Sorry, too soon, okay. Well, hold on, what's this disease even called? I don't remember you saying. PCD. Uh, uh, well, what causes it? The symptoms start to appear after one has been in a venue with the microphone. Suddenly, the lights go out and the infected start to scream. Speakers blast out of decibel levels higher than one should ever endure. Patients may hear someone singing to them, maybe one voice or many. After 90 minutes, you experience a form of depression unlike any other, hence the D in PCD. Well, that sounds awful. And to make it worse, it has been dormant for over two years until now. Two years? After all that time, why now, doctor? Well, with COVID precautions loosening up, people are starting to congregate in larger gatherings again. You know, it's great for the music business, but disastrous for consumers. Wait, what? The music business? Yeah, so many people are beginning to contract PCD again, and there's just nothing that can be done. I I'm sorry, <laughs> what does PCD stand for again? I don't think I caught that. Post-concert depression, JT. What else could I be describing? I don't fucking know. It honestly sounded like a really bad case of psychosis or something. Are you insane? Post-concert depression is so much worse than that. <laughs> Imagine seeing your favorite artist live after years of a pandemic and then returning home not knowing if you'll ever feel that happy again in your life. You cannot be fucking serious Oh, right but now. I am. <laughs> I've treated multiple patients and the effect is always the same. They watch their concert videos over and over again, trying to reach that same level of euphoric bliss, failing every time. Uh, okay, I, I guess that sucks and all, but the way you made it sound was like it was some fatal disease and you literally said it was worse than the bubonic plague. Well, how would I know what the bubonic plague was like? It was like 700 years ago. <laughs> okay, you are an Awful doctor. Who even made you director of the CDC? What are you talking about? What do you think CDC stands for? The Center for Depression After Concerts is a very serious organization. <laughs> the Center for Depression After Concerts? What kind of stupid fuck? <clears throat> Breathe, GT. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I can't deal with all these acronyms. We'll be right back. 